what's up everybody welcome back to the channel Rugen's here so today's video is gonna be short and clear because we're gonna talk about law enforcement especially the Dominican National Police so as I live in Punta Cana and most of my videos are about uh, this area here I'm gonna focus on this uh, special region here of the Dominican Republic so let's talk about these four uniforms that you will mostly see around here in Punta Cana and the first unit that I'm gonna talk about is the one that has the officers with the green uniform we call them uh, DJ set. They are the ones responsible to control the traffic. You will mostly see them at the red lights or if there is any special events in, in any particular area. And uh, once again, I'm talking about Punta Cana because in Santo Domingo, the population think that uh, they are the ones causing uh, the major traffic jams in the city. I know some of you guys, when you come here, sometimes you wanna rent a car. So it's good to know which person has the power to stop you in the street. Uh, for traffic violation but you guys gotta know that sometimes we have a traffic uh, checkpoints and those traffic checkpoints are carried out by the military so if you're driving around and you see a military checkpoint they do have the power to ask you for your driver's license and uh, your registration so the second division that I want to talk about is the one that has uh, the officers uh, with the white polo shirt as a uniform that says says tour these are the ones or uh, actually the name stands for uh, Cuerpo Especializado en la Seguridad Turística which literally means that a police for the tourists these ones you will find them mostly in these areas where you have uh, tourists you may find them walking around on the beach uh, in Santo Domingo in the, the colonial zone there are there are like a lot of them in Sosua, Puerto Plata this is mostly where you will find uh, these uh, officers and uh, the third unit that I want to talk about is the one with the gray shirt so these guys are more focused on the streets residential areas neighborhoods etc and as I know that some of you guys when you come here you like to go wild you, you like to party uh, and the fights in the clubs etc so whenever something like that happen these are the guys that they call for you and uh, one thing that you guys need to know when you're here in the resort and uh, you have like a, let's say a, a disagreement a discussion or a fight uh, with another guest etc it doesn't work like uh, the united states where you just call 911 and the police just show up it has to be something very important and uh, the last uh, division that i wanted to talk about and i don't think that they belong to the dominican national police but instead that uh, to the army it's uh, the ones that you see on the highway in the military uniform and in a pickup truck that says MOPC and uh, so far I think they are the most effective uh, division uh, of law enforcement here in Punta Cana uh, even in the Dominican Republic these guys are the ones you need to call if you are in trouble on the highway if you have any inconvenience with your, with your car as a matter of fact uh, you will see them uh, when you leave the airport on your way to the resort like five minutes or less after you leave the airport uh, once you get to the big roundabout as a matter of fact this is uh, the most dangerous roundabouts I've ever seen uh, they are on the right corner I've been in situations where I've had issues with my car in the middle of the night I'm talking about like two or three in the morning and they just come around and help me with no problem at all and uh, just so you know you see uh, the toll when you uh, if you're traveling on the road and uh, you cross one of the tolls like uh, the ticket and the receipt that they gave you after the payment uh, their number is in the receipt just in case you need help you can just call this number that you have in the receipt and uh, in no time they'll be there to help you and uh, the last but not least the division I wanted to talk to you about is the one where you subscribe to my channel you click on the bell for the notifications and you become a patron so that you can support the work that I do and you can find out how to do so by reading the description below 